Every morning, by around 9 a.m., the usual silence over Leh is shattered. As fighter jets of the Indian Air Force cut through the clear blue skies. For the capital of the newly formed Union Territory of Ladakh, this is now a regular morning sight. These Indian Air Force planes maneuvering across the lightly capped snow peaks of the arid mountains all around. It is summer in Ladakh and normally the place would have been teeming with tourists from India and abroad. But then the summer of 2020 is a different time altogether. Some 200 kilometers from Leh in the Galwan Valley region, there has been no peace this summer. It is there that India and China locked horns along the line of actual control. The days and nights have been full of tension and in Leh, septuagenarian Ghulam Mohammed has spent many a sleepless night, worried about his elder son who is posted in the Galwan region. A war veteran himself, Ghulam Mohammed, is not unaware of the risk that a soldier runs at the border, especially when hostilities break out. Ghulam Mohammed himself served in the Indian Army during the 1971 Indo-Pak War. He was in the Gulam's family is what is known as an army family. His younger son is posted at Siachen Glacier. In contrast, 48-year-old Chiring Palden has no one in the armed services. But that does not mean he has nothing to worry about. He's worried about his family back in his village of Chusul, right along the India-China border. For Palden, his family and his village have been out of reach since the conflict started. Palden's wife is employed with a road construction project of the Border Roads Organization, PRO. At the Khardungla Pass, it is time for hectic work and there are mainly local villagers who have been engaged in the project. But the locals could have done with more peaceful conditions in Ladakh, particularly to enjoy their newfound status as citizens of a freshly minted Union territory. On 31st of October 2019, Ladakh became a Union territory finally being able to carve its separate identity out of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. It was supposed to be a time for celebrations. And in the two districts of Leh and Kargil that make up the Union territory, Ladakhis hope for good times to come. In his opinion, the Prime Minister of the Ladakhis जो हमारे आइडेंटिटी हमारे संस्कृति हमारे उस क्षेत्र के विकास सभी चीजों पे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने अपने शब्दों में कहा 
Ladakh's economy depends heavily on tourism and the entire territory being high altitude, it remains closed for nearly six months every winter. The summer of 2020, as the first summer of the Union Territory, was supposed to be bright and beautiful. The main bazaar of Leh town wears a deserted look with only a few locals taking a stroll here. In normal times, this place would have been flocked with tourists, but that's not the case now amid the COVID-19 lockdown and the ongoing India-China tussle. People here are heavily dependent on tourism and they say that it might take a long time for them to recover from this twin jolt. The biker's paradise in India wears a deserted look. Other than the Indochina border tensions, the COVID-19 pandemic and the international lockdown has ensured that these machines that once overcame rough mountain terrains now stand idle and dusty. यहाँ पे बहुत ही बहुत ही खराब सीजन चल रहा है हमारा तो पिछले साल हमारा 370 आर्टिकल की वजह से हमारा टूरिस्ट बहुत ही हाफ परसेंट ही आया है तो इस साल यहाँ पे एलओसी पे ये इंडो चाइना एंड इंडिया की वजह से यहाँ पे और भी कम हो गया और ऊपर से कोरोना वायरस की वजह से भी ज़्यादा कमी कमी हमारा यहाँ पे बिल्कुल ही कम ही आ रहा है तो एवरेज में हमारा हो जाता है पर तीन फाइव टू सिक्स बाइक्स अभी तो सारा कुछ खड़ा ही है तो ज़्यादा तो ज़्यादा फाइव टू सिक्स टाइम चलता था सीजन में दिन के फाइव टू सिक्स जिसमें हमारा फिफ्टी तो हमारा लोन पे चलता है लोन में जाता है और फिफ्टी हमें घर चलाना पड़ता है The cafes and restaurants only have locals as patrons. There are no bargains to be had at the shopping heart of Leh. Most of the shops have their shutters pulled down. You can see Pengong so marked boldly in blue in this map, the famous tourist attraction at more than 14,000 feet. Ladakh is a paradise for bikers. Many people choose to go there on bikes that they rent from various places in Leh and they travel all across Ladakh. Chiring then used to be a busy man and each year around this time he would be ferrying travellers to the Pangong Lake and back in his taxi. But he has no work this summer of 2020. Living on the outskirts of Leh, Palden is a man worried about leading his life in the traditional way, something that is being disrupted because of the Indo-China face-off. Palden's daughter, Chiring Dolma, is a class 12 student attending her online classes. She wants to be a teacher and yearns to be back to the village in Chusun. Paldin's elder daughter is away in Chandigarh doing higher studies because the options in Ladakh are very limited. The limitation in educational opportunities also meant that while Ghulam Muhammad's sons joined the army, they could not be commissioned in as officers. इसलिए यह कॉलेज हो जाएगा तो हम भी आगे पढ़ेंगे आगे कुछ करेंगे हम भी औद्योगिक बन के रहेगा वो फिर हमको देश का सेवा करने में और भी अच्छा रहता है। Every family of Chuchot village, all 63 homes here, have at least one young man serving in the Indian Army. Like Gulam Mohammad's son, many of them are posted in the forward areas at the line of actual control. 
Less than 30 kilometers from the capital lay in this village, women are the ones left to tend to the very old and the very young. Because the able-bodied men have traveled elsewhere to earn a living, or they stand at the border defending their country. सिचुएशन अभी कैसा है और वहाँ पे क्या होने वाला है हमें बहुत डर लगा रहता है तो उनका फोन भी बहुत कम आता है सर महीने में एक बार ही फोन आता है वो भी थोड़ी देर थोड़ी देर के लिए आता है और हम ठीक है बस यही बोल के बंद करता है तो वहाँ पे नेटवर्क का प्रॉब्लम है बहुत दिक्कत है सर इसलिए हम बातचीत भी नहीं हो पा रहा उनसे इस इलाके के लोगों ने अपने मुल्क के लिए हमेशा कुर्बानी दिए हैं लेकिन मुल्क के हुकूमतों ने इस इलाके को हमेशा महरूम रखा है तो हमारे यहाँ के बाइयाँ बहुत सारे जो जवान थे वो लोग सीना पर सीना में रहते हैं तो वो लोग अपनी फैमिली के लिए टाइम नहीं निकाल पाते तो इसमें बच्चों का स्कूल से सब देखने के लिए टाइम नहीं निकाल पाते तो औरतें यहाँ अच्छे स्कूल बिल्कुल नहीं है औरतें कहाँ ले जाएंगे अब बच्चों को अच्छे स्कूल में पढ़ाई करने के लिए हजीरा बानो थ्री ब्रदर्स ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द लद्दाख स्काउट्स currently posted in the forward areas at the line of actual control in eastern ladakh children of this village hardly study beyond class 12 and then the boys join the army and the girls stay back to tend to the family while the men in this village serve the indian army and continue with the age old tradition there are few opportunities for women many mothers here say that they are also concerned about what their daughters will do as they grow up it's a given that the young boys will join the army but with aspirations increasing they are looking for more opportunities particularly the young girls who are bright but do not have enough opportunities coming their way to make a better living In 1834, tranquil and scenic Ladakh was annexed to the Sikh Kingdom of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. In 1846, Jammu and Kashmir became a princely state owing allegiance to the British Crown, and Ladakh became a part of JNK. Ladakh became a part of India on 26th of October 1947. when maharaja hari singh of jammu and kashmir signed the instrument of accession but by then pakistani raiders from gilgit had entered ladakh and the indian army went in to drive them out soon dras kargil and leh were liberated and ladakh cleared of infiltrators In 1948 Pakistani raiders once again invaded Ladakh and occupied Kargil and Zanskar reaching within 30 kilometers of Leh reinforcements were sent in by air and once again the invaders were driven away Tension in Ladakh peaked again in 1962 when China occupied Aksai Chin It was in 1963 when Zulfikar Ali Bhutto became the foreign minister of Pakistan for the first time and one of his first actions as fm was to sign the sino pak boundary agreement by the terms of the agreement pakistan ceded 5180 square kilometers of indian territory occupied by pakistan to china ever since china has maintained that the total 43000 square kilometers of ladakh that it occupies is actually a part of the xinjiang uyghur autonomous region In August 2019 with the abrogation of Article 370 Ladakh became a separate union territory separate from the rest of Jammu and Kashmir and that possibly changed the perspective at least for neighboring China Usually at this time of the year this road connecting Leh to the Pengong Lake is busy with heavy traffic but this time this road wears a deserted look as there are 
restrictions on the movement of vehicles and there are very few tourists who are headed to the famous attraction at more than 14,000 feet which has now become the focus of an unprecedented military confrontation between India and China. Ishe Thondup is busy giving final touches to a traditional Ladakhi necklace worn by brides during marriage. As the tourists are missing, this craftsman in the old town of Leh is left with little work. He now concentrates on meeting the needs of the local people. एक तो जेज कोरोना वजह से बहुत हालत खराब है एक तो चीनीस का वजह से बहुत हालत खराब है सर अभी तो पूरा मार्केट तो पूरा ठंडा है सर टूरिस्ट जो टूरिस्ट आता है टूरिस्ट भी नहीं आ रहा है अभी जो लोग इंडियन टूरिस्ट भी नहीं आ रहा है सर अभी देखो इन जो फ्रांस वाला भी नहीं आ रहा है सर पूरा ठंडा है मार्केट तो वरना इस वक्त काफी यहाँ टूरिस्ट हो गया यहाँ पे तो इसका इस वक्त तो काफी मार्केट पूरा ठीक ठाक मार्केट चल रहे हैं सर अभी इसका तो मार्केट पूरा पूरा मार्केट में हमें आदमी चलने का थोड़ा वो मतलब वो सेट नहीं मिल रहा सर अभी तो बहुत ठीक ठाक मार्केट बनना था The tourists may be absent, but people in the old quarter of Leh still carry on with their traditional craft work. Spinning wool, turning it into yarn that is used to make traditional Ladakhi dresses. A winter wear, but a summer job. The locals are worried that they might have to soon stop weaving clothes and spinning yarn. Because the supply of raw material might dry up. कोई केलो को पांच सौ रुपये देते हैं करने के लिए पांच सौ रुपये देते हैं हाँ ये करने को जी एक केलो को एक केलो का पांच सौ रुपये हाँ अच्छा फिर हम करके उधर देते हैं जी फिर वो लोग खुद शल बनाने को उधर से देते हैं जी हम्म वही तो करते हैं जी शल बनाते हैं पटू बनाते हैं The best quality wool comes from Changthang, and that is on the other side of the divide. More than 130 kilometers from Leh, the grasslands of Changthang lie along the LAC. ये Changthang दुबक से आता है Chang Changthang से हम लाते हैं raw material. तो अभी इस साल ये हमने last year लिया था. इस साल थोड़ा problem है क्योंकि COVID की वजह से भी problem है और ये जो China border में problem हो रहा है इसकी वजह से भी ये आना थोड़ा बंद हो गया है. अच्छा रिस्ट्री मूवमेंट में अभी थोड़ा बताएंगे कि कितना आ जाता है एक बार में एक साल में कितना लाते हैं पिछले साल पिछले साल हमने लिया था कितना लिया था दस बीस कंटेनर लिया था हमने दस बीस कंटेनर लिया था हमने और अभी कितनी रिक्वायरमेंट अभी बहुत है बहुत है बट इस साल यहाँ कुछ प्रॉब्लम की वजह से ये प्रॉब्लम वजह से अभी ला नहीं पा रहा है दे शेयरिंग मी यू नो व्हेन व्हेन दे बी आर अस यू नो हैपनिंग इस सिचुएशंस इन फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन द फाइव्थ में so that time there is a lots of lighting on the mountain and there are boat kisti and so the lighting yeah. on the mountain uh, this is the Chinese build up yeah, if it's build up. so they are they are occupying the mountains yeah. uh, and one can see uh, the activities even at night yeah for the, for the first time you know when when there is a happening first time that time the situation is like that the people are saying that you know there's a lots of light on the mountain and they are a little bit afraid also this fear and uncertainty has brought the restoration work of the old city of Leh to a near standstill. The dilapidated old town is a treasure house for Ladakhi history, culture and heritage. The town needs preservation and Stanzin was hopeful that the newly gained union territory status for Ladakh would translate to more funds and more government support. कि हम एक एनजीओ है हमें फंड बाहर से आता है तो हम मतलब साल में या एक या दो ही हमारा मतलब घर रिस्ट्रेशन होता है मतलब ज़्यादा नहीं था क्योंकि हमारा फंड बहुत कम आता है ज़्यादा मतलब बहुत मुश्किल से हमें फंड मिलता है तो फिर इसलिए हम गवर्नमेंट को यही मतलब रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं कि ओल्ड टाउन को हेरिटेज जोन बनाए 
तो फिर हम थोड़ा जो भी अभी बचा है उसको फिर बचाए के रख सके With the abrogation of Article 370 last year and Ladakh being declared a union territory, a long-standing demand of the people here for autonomy, now they are hopeful. Not only will this help in development, but also in preserving the old traditions and heritage of Ladakh. Seventy percent of Ladakh's population depends on tourism. The current situation has put them in deep worry over paying off their debts while running their homes. There are nearly 300 crore rupee loans to be paid back to banks by the locals. The administration of Ladakh hopes for more help from the center in the wake of the circumstances. The budget for the state was increased from 57 crore rupees to 232 crore rupees but the pandemic induced lockdown and then the border tensions have ensured that this is not enough to overcome the challenges During this covid-19 business mein bahut effect hua khas kar hamara tourism sector jo ki hamara backbone hai 70% people is related to tourism तो वो बिल्कुल टोटली इफेक्ट हुआ है बीच में पहले शुरू में हमारे जो ट्रेड वाले हैं जो दुकानदार हैं ये सब भी इफेक्ट हुए थे क्योंकि उस वक्त हमारा रास्ता खुला नहीं था लेकिन अब रास्ता खुल गया है तो शायद वो नॉर्मल हो गया लेकिन टूरिज्म 101 वन परसेंट इफेक्ट हुआ और इसके लिए हमारा गुजारिश रहेगा गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से कि देखिए लद्दाख का एक तो सीजनल होता है टूरिज्म और इस बार तो टूरिज्म अब तो सवाल ही नहीं है कि अब कोई टूरिस्ट इसमें आएगा तो इसलिए गुजारिश है कि हमें एक रिलीफ मिले एक पैकेज मिले जिसको हमने गवर्नर साहब से भी टेकअप किया हमारे एलजी से हमारे एमपी साहब इसमें इनिशिएटिव ले रहे वो भी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से इन्होंने टेकअप किया सो वी आर होपिंग कि कम से कम टूरिज्म सेक्टर को एक पैकेज मिले जिससे कि इनको एक रिलीफ मिले लद्दाख सीजन इज लाइक दैट लाइक इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अप्रिल एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर एंड बाई एंड ऑफ ऑगस्ट इट्स एंड अप सो देन आफ्टर दैट इट्स ऑफ सीजन usually in normal times then we have to wait for the next year march so it means now it's already already july is already there august means hardly one and a half months is left so our season is almost gone without doing even a single penny business so it's a big loss for the people of ladakh the neighboring union territory of jammu and kashmir opened up for tourists in the first week of july but ladakh no more shares the benefits of the same destiny with a separate identity that ladakh yearned for decades now a reality the region still remains uncertain about a rosy future in another 3 months winter would set in and ladakh would once again be closed to the world they would have to wait for another summer before destiny can smile at them they would have to wait at least till 2021 for their luck to change <laughs>